All right, hello everyone. Welcome to our very first League of Legends match of the 2021 Kinda ECAC season. We have Post University taking on Wayne State College today. Should be a really good game one. As far as the draft went, uh, honestly went pretty good for us in my opinion. Um, I was not expecting as many... Uh, ADC bands as they did they came out with quite a few ADC bands but in any case we have Knucklepuck on Camille in the top lane against Gamer Dubs on Urgot then we've got Angel Assassin on Vi in the jungle against Ziggy ZZ 289 on Olaf then in the mid lane we've got Daisy Dukes on Nico, aka Dimple. I may refer to her as Dimple Doll. That is her other name. Versus Super Giraffe on Ari. Then in the bot lane, we've got Chris Rammers on Tristana against Mitch706 on Jin. And for support, we have Gunner the Roses on Yumi versus Unit B9 on the Galio. And here we go. Champions should be loading in shortly. There we are. Let's see what our first buys are. Both junglers going with the uh, Ember Knife to start out here. Should be a really good game. Um. I'm really interested to see which jungler gets ahead because I think that could be really important for the game. Four players grouping around this uh, bottom river area here for Wayne State. Angel Assassin on the Vi waiting in the pixel bush to see if anyone shows. Doesn't look like anyone will be showing right now. Post you doing a decent job setting up the line of scrimmage. Wayne State clearly expecting a an invade positioning to counteract that invade I think I'm going to turn off my music for this Buffs are spawning. Really good leash from bot lane. For Vi and post you. Knuckle looking to push into this Urgot aggressively. Get that farm lead. Olaf, meanwhile, for Wayne State, pathing over to his Gromp after taking the blue. 
And Angel Assassin on the Vi taking the Wraith Camp. Knuckle is going to hit level 2 first up here in this top lane. Oh. And there he is, going to go all in and get the stun. Onto a gamer dubs as Olaf and a really good trade there for Knuckle. As uh, Ziggy Z is actually clearing his entire bot side now, having just done Wolves. So we could see a play here in either the mid lane or the top lane coming up pretty soon. Oh, as uh, Dimple gets hit with a charm there and takes a good chunk of damage from Super Giraffe's Ari. Looking at the junglers right now, they're both hovering top side, having started on the bottom side. There's a level 3 advantage here for Wayne State's bottom lane. As Angel Assassin on the Vi, taking that top scuttle. Ziggy Z just going for a, a complete full clear of his jungle, taking all six camps. Looks like we could see a mid gank soon as Angel hovering here at mid. Just trying to, oh, and the root. Great gank here coming out. Super Giraffe forced to flash away. And a good gank there from Angel Assassin on this Vi, taking advantage of Dimple landing her root. As uh, Ziggy on this Olaf looking to actually invade the top side of post used jungle is going to back now, though. As Angel actually a good response and taking his Gromp. I really like that response from Angel here. As. Uh, Gamer dubs with a level advantage up in the top lane. Knuckles does not want to go in on that. Looking at the farm here, Knuckle with a slight advantage in the top lane. Dimple with a small advantage in the mid lane. Uh, oh, bot lane actually a huge advantage for uh, Mitch so far. 41 to 24. That's going to be the story of the game so far, actually. Uh, is that mid lane gank on Super Giraffe blowing the flash and the extreme farm disparity in the bot lane. That's going to be a serious problem for uh, post U if uh, that is not rectified shortly. And it uh, looks like we might have some action in the bot lane as both junglers now pathing down towards the bottom lane. But it looks like Wayne State going to back off and start this dragon, perhaps? As Dimple gets uh, some vision down in the pit. Pink ward in the sidebrush. Gonna find that ward from Dimple and Wayne State wisely backs off of that dragon. Both top laners also now level six. Mid laners should follow shortly as uh, Chris Rammer is trying to catch up on farm here on the uh, Tristana. like he will catch up just a bit on farm. Now only about 10 behind. That's still no first blood six and a half minutes in. Both junglers doing a decent job of farming as well. Very even on farm. We've got our first backs as well. Uh, Mitch picking up his noon quiver on Jin. That's going to be a pretty big power spike. Bot lane's probably going to look to go all in pretty soon against uh, Chris Rammers and Gunner here in the bot lane. Ooh, a lot of damage going down in the mid lane. Don't flash in from Dimple, but she's not going to quite find the kill. And the ultimate now coming down 
from Super Giraffe, and he's going to take first blood against Dimple here in the mid lane. Meanwhile, another top lane fight breaking out. As uh, Gamer Dub's going to win that trade against Knuckle here in the top lane. So, first blood in the mid lane. Super Giraffe pushing that tower, and that's going to also leave it open for Wayne State to take that Infernal Dragon. Now up just a little under 1,000 gold here at 7.5 minutes in. Great start here from Wayne State. Exactly what they wanted in the mid lane. Post you unable to take advantage of blowing Super Giraffe's flash earlier. It's a very small window when you need to take advantage of that. As uh, Angel with a level 6 advantage here over Ziggy's Olaf, but can't quite take advantage of it there. Clearing out the pink in the side bush, though. Good bot side vision here for... Wayne State. Look for them to try to make a play on the bot side of the map soon here with a pink in river and an additional ward and also a deep ward over the dragon pit earlier when they took. Oh, and a flash in from Gamer Dubs, but Knuckle quickly grapples away to safety. And an opening now here for Angel to gank the top lane with Dragon dead. And a flashless Urgot. I think that's where I'm looking to make a play next if I am Angel Assassin on this Vi. Still fairly even across the board. A good sized advantage though for Mitch's Jin here in the bottom lane. Oh, and a root comes down onto Chris Rammers. Yumi ult goes out as well. And not a bad trade, although the Yumi ult was burned. That could be important for this gank coming up. But they are going to see him coming into the bush. They're not reacting, though, as he just... There they go. They finally react as uh, Angel clears out that word in the bot side river. And bot lane is going to be backing now. Uh, about a 20 farm lead for Mitch in the bot lane here on this Jin. Uh, we've got a... Oh, and maybe a possible fight in the top lane here as Knuckle goes aggressive onto Gamer Dubs. Chunks him down to about 40%. As a gank coming in from the mid lane. And there's the Vi ultimate onto Super Giraffe's Ari. And gets very low and uses the ultimate to get out. Also blowing the flash. So a good gank there from Angel again in the mid lane. But unable to find a kill. So he's going to face check this Olaf. This could be really bad. Uses the Q. He's going to have to flash over the wall here. And there it is. He's going to flash to follow him. And Ziggy going to pick up the kill there on Angel. And then come right around for this Nico. He doesn't have his ultimate, though, and just does get rooted up. Takes a bunch of damage from this Nico. And a tower shot. Let's see if Knuckle can take advantage. Getting super low, but he is going to get out. Questionable choice there from Angel going for the quick Q onto Ziggy to try to get some damage down and start a fight, but he quickly realized that he was not winning that fight and then did not have the Q available to get out. Knuckle trying to fight in this top lane, but can't find an engagement against the slippery gamer dubs on the Olaf. Still a little, a little over a thousand gold lead here for Wayne State. Two kills to zero with the Infernal Drake. One kill on Ziggy, on the Olaf, and one kill on Super Giraffe's Ari. A pretty good sized lead on farm though for Dimple's Nico and Knuckles Camille uh, against Gamer Dubs's Olaf in the top lane here. So. Honestly, it's just the kills at this point. Farm is kind of evening out over the rolls. Looks like Post U trying to possibly make a play at the Rift Herald here. Pretty soon. Oh, as Nico's actual body gets charmed, despite being invisible. 
Mitch is going to be really strong here in this mid game. Already has his Boots of Swiftness and Noon Quiver complete and is probably sitting on a lot of money here. As Chris Rambers is just trying desperately to catch up and farm here. Both junglers now hovering topside though. Could potentially see a play in this top lane. Ooh, Root's gonna land onto Super Giraffe, but no all in there from Dimple. As uh, Angel gonna come in on this Urgot and go for the all in. Both ultimates used. Urgot getting very low, is gonna go down. Knucklepuck gonna grab the kill. But Gamer dubs, but Knuckle also falls in that engagement. As Ziggy just a little bit late to that, but does end up picking up the kill. So probably an even trade there, although the wave is pushing into Wayne State's side. So uh, Gamer may elect to use teleport here. I don't think that would be a good idea since it's slow pushing in, not hard pushing in. Let's see if he decides to use it though. No, he's just gonna walk. Definitely a good choice here, not burn that teleport. As uh, two kills now on Ziggy's Olaf, has his Gore Drinker completed. He's going to look to fight here very soon for this dragon that is up. As now a lead has grown to 2,000 gold for Wayne State, as Parker going to actually do a pretty good job here of trading objectives. Going to take the Rift Herald by himself because they know, they know that Wayne State is on this dragon. And Angel does in fact pick up that Rift Herald. But two dragons now on the side of Wayne State. also has grown here for Mitch's Jin as Knuckle goes aggressive again in the top lane against Gamer Dubs' Urgot. Ooh, Charm lands onto Dimple. And the ultimate's used on both sides, but no kill for either side as Knuckle goes aggressive again. Gamer Dubs now down to about 10% in a fight. In the river here, another Q burned early against this Olaf, and Parker's got nowhere to run now. Trying to make it out, does get over the wall, and it looks like he is going to make it out, luckily. As Mitch going aggressive onto Chris Rammers here, could potentially pop the ult, doesn't decide to use it. Parker gonna face check this Olaf again, now does not have the ultimate this could potentially be a good fight let's see what happens Galio ult gonna come down though and Parker wisely excuse me Angel wisely flashes away from that 2v1 situation and Ziggy gonna secure his red buff and now has full control of the bot side jungle dodges all abilities there in the mid lane does dimple from super draft and super draft getting fairly low Oh, Angel, don't do it, man. Oh, he wants it. He's going to go in on the Olaf. Ziggy going to pick one up, but goes down to Dimples. Nico. Galio gets rooted up here. And Post, you going to chase down this Galio, getting pretty low. Flashes over the wall. And is going to get out with a sliver of health. As Jin now looking for a kill here, coming up onto this mid lane. Going to flash and Gale Force in, and that was too easy. Chris Rammers maybe a little too low. I don't know if he wants to fight this down two levels. There's the exhaust, though, going down, and the ultimate, and it's not going to be enough. A double kill for Mitch on this Jin. Triple kill as he takes out Yumi as well. And now a almost 3,000 gold lead here for Wayne State. Seven kills to two. At just about 17 minutes into the game. Uh, game one here of this best of three. 
Very questionable decision there from uh, Chris Rammers trying to take that fight against an extremely fed Jin. 2v1, but he was down two levels. And Mitch had his double buffs, so just really kind of underestimating the power of a Jin with Gale Force and double buffs and a two level advantage. And that's exactly what's going to happen when your bot lane starts snowballing. I think Post U has the comp to be able to deal with this, though. So if this game goes late, I'm thinking that Post U may be able to pull this one out. Uh, and the reason I say that is because of the Vi and the Camille, right? So as Rift Tail gets popped in the top lane. Oh, and Knuckle going to go aggressive here. Both players diving onto this Urgot, and he's going to go down, but Knuckle now getting super low. He's going to die, and this is a fed Olaf. I don't know if you want to be fighting this, Knuckle. Flashes over the wall, and now is going to try to dodge the Jin ultimate. Does get hit by the second one, and Mitch going to pick up his fourth kill of the game. As Dimble gets charged up the mid lane, has no tower to fall back to. And wisely retreats as Unit B9's Galia was also waiting there in the mid lane. So a 2v1 trade in the top lane. Gamer Dubs goes down as Knuckle picks up his second kill of the game. However, Post U loses both Angel Assassin and Knuckle in the following fight, giving another kill over to Ziggy and Mitch. So anyways, what I was saying earlier as, uh, as Wayne State sets up for this dragon is that if this game goes late, I'm thinking that post you could make this happen as they have the Vi and the Camille to just dive onto this Jin. As uh, Angel going over the wall aggressively here, very bold move, clearing out that pink. As Dimple gonna get charmed up, taken down to half health already. Parker changes his mind. Post you actually gonna try to fight this. It's a uh, 5v4 here as. Oh, charmed up. And Vi gonna go in. Meanwhile, Olaf on the back line gonna take out Dimple. Diving onto this Jin. And Super Draft gonna take out Angel Assassin. A double kill for Ziggy. Let's make it a triple as soon as he takes down the cat. And the fight's gonna be a wash for. Wayne State, a 5v4 in favor of post you. Wayne State does not care. They take the ace for no one. They're going to take the dragon. And meanwhile, Game Redub's picking up solo farm and a solo tower in this top lane. Disastrous for post you. Now down 7,000 gold at 20 minutes. Three dragons and having their inner tower pushed on all three lanes here. It's going to take a long time for post you to come back in this game if they even can. At this point, Post U needs to look to deep freeze waves back by their second tier towers, play very slow and methodical, play safe, figure out what they can give up, what they can afford to give up, and what they have to fight for. Chris Rammers needs to play very slow in this bottom lane. He needs to push it very slowly. Same with uh, with Knuckle in the top lane here. They need to try to wave clear mid, slow push the side lanes, not take any fights that they don't absolutely have to or have a massive numbers advantage. 4-0-2 on Mitch's Jin here. 191 farm at 21 minutes. Very good numbers. It's exactly what you want to see if you're ADC. As Knuckle going aggressive, against Gamer Dubs in the top lane, but he's pretty tanky at this point, and Ziggy's on his way. As we've got a fight potentially brewing in the mid lane, as Angel Sass going to go in on Super Draft's Ari, but he's got three charges of ultimate there, and he gets out easily. An ultimate for an ultimate in the mid lane. As Knuckle now hovering towards mid side with this Camille, but he's going to get pinged out, spotted by a ward. Chris doing exactly what he needs to do here in the bottom lane. My only issue, though, is that 
as Parker has to flash out there. My only issue is that uh, Yumi is with him. Yumi needs to go mid and attach to some other champion that's not Chris. Let Chris take the solo experience in the bot lane as Angel going to queue away. Not really sure why he thought that was safe, but a fight goes down as Knuckle gets the shutdown onto Super Draft, but a double kill for Mitch as he gets even stronger here through this mid game. And it's a two-for-one little skirmish in the bot side jungle of the Eagles. But Knuckle, getting pretty strong on this Camille, has the Trinity Force completed, has the TM at, going in onto Mitch, but Galio is there. Going to come in, going to get taunted up. Yumi ult goes out, he gets rooted, but not enough damage going out, but he does get the shutdown! Another thousand gold for Knuckle, that's huge! And if this is just a one-for-one, one, that's incredible for post you. as Ziggy also blows the ultimate, but Chris Rammers was already gone and out of there. An actually great trade for post you there, getting a thousand gold shutdown onto Knuckle's Camille, who is already pretty fed, and the gold is going exactly where it needs to go for post you to have any hope of coming back in this game have shrunk their deficit now to just a little over 8,000 gold. <laughs> yeah, Karamik, it's, uh, it's a pretty complicated game, honestly. Um, the main thing to, to look at is uh, the gold total. So if you look up here, the blue is 32.6. That's 32.6 thousand gold. And then on the other side, you've got 40.2, 3,000 gold for red team. That's Basically how you can tell which team is ahead. Kills, these are the kills here, don't always reflect who is actually ahead. As Knuckle goes in here on this Ari, gonna get charmed up, but he has a lot of health, gonna get the stun and a solo kill onto Super Giraffe as Wayne State looking to collapse up here in this top side. Q used for Angel in a really tough spot now here, trying to get out. Not really sure why he's going up that way, but oh, Nico's there, going in. Oh, and a flash out! From the Jin, getting super low. Going to try to carry this fight. Parker going in. Angel on this. Vi does get the kill. A great fight now, suddenly, for Post U. But Gamer Dubs does take out Knuckle, and that's most of Post U's damage. But Temple waiting in the brush. Going to pick up a cheeky kill onto Unit B9. But Olaf is unstoppable. It's going to be very hard for Chris Rammers to deal with this Olaf. Flashing in, flash out for Chris Rammers. Going to still try to chase, picking up the axe, but he knows that that Tristana is too fast. In the end, a two for three. Three for two trade in favor of Wayne State. But honestly, not a bad fight for PostU, considering their deficit. That's a great question, Karamik. So you get gold in any number of ways. You kill enemy minions, you get kill enemy champions, you uh, kill enemy towers. Um, so it's really just about, oh, as a dragon fight starting here, Chris Rammer's going to jump in very aggressively, going to try to steal this dragon, but it's not going to happen. A disastrous fight for post you as they lose the dragon and two members. Gamer Dub's going to take out one kill. And 10 and 1 now on this Olaf for Ziggy. Dead Man's complete, Gordrick complete, Spectre's Cal, Mercury's Treads. Post is going to have an extremely hard time dealing with this Olaf. Not to mention trying to dive this Jin. And uh, Wayne State now setting up for the Baron. Going to start this off with four dragons under their belt to help them out. And post you not really in a position to do anything about it. They're going to take it pretty slowly. It's only 26 minutes. But it is going to go down in the end. Absolutely no contest here for post you. And post you now really going to be on the back foot for three minutes with this Baron advantage. But yeah, basically the bottom line is. Uh, the gold up here shows you who's ahead. Um, so we are blue team in this game, and we are down just about 10,000 gold at just 26 minutes. So uh, in Rocket League, this would basically be the equivalent of being down 5 or 6 to 0 with like 2.5 minutes left in the game. It's going to be pretty hard to come back at this point. 
They need to slowly push. Not really sure why Angel's pathing down here. He has nothing to do down here. Um, as Wainstay going to push mid. Post you has to give this up. They, they do not have the wave clear to deal with these Baron Empowered minions. Uh, as Dimple pushing the bot wave, but she's going to soon run into a very fed Olaf. He's just going to pop ult and run right at her, and there's not really anything that she can do. He is unstoppable now, and uh, going to easily take care of her 1v1. Uh, but the turret does go down in the bot lane, so a small consolation prize uh, for post you. But yeah, so basically your your champion can buy items uh, with the gold that they get, and so champions that have more gold to spend can buy more items and then get more powerful. Uh, it would be like in Rocket League if every time you scored a goal, your car got a little faster. Um, so it's a pretty snowball-y game. Uh, Wayne State with a massive advantage right now, pushing down onto this bot lane. And uh, going to be really tough for Posty to defend this now. Uh, Dimple is coming up now in one second on this Nico. Might look to try to find an engage here, but it would have to be a perfect fight. They would have to delete Mitch's Jin instantly. I think, honestly, they just give this up. A fight now uh, here is way too risky, and they could just end the game right off of it. But nothing actually going to happen. Uh, Wayne State satisfied with the inhibitor tower. And they're going to rotate out now to mid. <clears throat> so they're going to go for the... I don't exactly agree with this call, but I understand why they're doing it. If I was Wayne State, I think I'd just go top here. But top lane is way back up by the Baron Pit pushing into them. So I can understand why they're not doing it. As a fight potentially going out, Angel gets taunted, deleted... Dimple absolutely deleted as Knuckle dives onto this Jin in the back line. They're really only hope, but they were ready for him. As a Super Giraffe charming up Yumi here in the back line. And not enough damage coming out from Chris. And that's going to be the ace. Everyone on post you dead for about 30 seconds. And Wayne State should easily be able to push this out through the mid lane and pick up a win here in game one. Great job from Mitch on this Jin and Ziggy on this Olaf. Nine and two on the Jin, 11 and one on the Olaf. Carried this game pretty hard for Wayne State. Shout out though to Unit B9's Galio, only one death. One, one and 12. Doing a good job helping Mitch along in the early game to that early farm lead. And now we're gonna take a, sh a quick break and go through the draft for game two and I'll be back with you guys probably in about five to ten minutes sit tight 